In this episode of Did You Know, we're bringing you more things you might not know in WWE 2K24 with even more hidden features, secrets and easter eggs. But before we get to that, I'm proud to announce that today's episode of Did You Know is sponsored by Star Trek Fleet Command. Star Trek Fleet Command is an epic free-to-play space adventure that lets you boldly go where no one has gone before. Players can embark on an epic Star Trek adventure and explore the vast Star Trek universe where they'll be able to recruit legendary characters and iconic command ships from over 50 years of Star Trek stories. As you play, you'll be able to engage with players from all around the world and test your abilities in battle, negotiate alliances and harvest the galaxy's resources to upgrade your fleet. Each month brings exciting new content with new missions based on the lore of the show, new ships to collect and plenty of customization options including the ability to personalize your avatar and customize your ship frames. So what are you waiting for? Download Star Trek Fleet Command for free using the link in the video description and get ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. As an added bonus, for players that download the game using my link and reach level 5, send me a screenshot on Twitter and I'll record you a personalised thank you for helping to support the channel. Jumping into the first of today's Did You Knows, did you know there's an alternate super finisher for CM Punk when playing inside a steel cage? This one comes from Josh 11 who notes an alternate super finisher for CM Punk, as while Punk is set to use the new version of the Avalanche Pedigree as his super finisher, Josh notes that attempting the move inside a steel cage will actually see the move swapped out for another, as rather than use the Pedigree, Punk will use a second row Bulldog as his super finisher. Did you know there's a WWF easter egg during Roddy Piper's entrance? This one was pointed out by the gaming NASCAR wrestler who noticed a WWF easter egg while playing as Roddy Piper as during Piper's entrance he'll come out wearing his merch from the 1992 European tour and should you take a look at the back of the shirt you'll notice that refers to the tour as the WWF Deutschland tour with the shirt also featuring the original WWF logo. While this easter egg can be seen during Piper's entrance, should you load him into the creation suite for a closer look, the shirt shown is actually an edited version as the version in the creation suite has been changed to read WWE Deutschland Tour with the European Rampage logo also updated to remove the WWF branding. Did you know that a new attire has been added for William Regal? This one is another of the secret updates that were contained in patch 1.08 as we previously noted how the patch had unlocked manager attires for Triple H and MVP though it's been revealed that they weren't the only ones that got a new attire as Reese Manitton notes that William Regal's manager attire was also unlocked. Not only is this attire available when using Regal as a manager but you can also select it when playing as Regal in matches as the outfit is now listed on the selection screen as an alternate attire. Did you know there's special rivals commentary for CM Punk and Brock Lesnar? This is one of the more surprising pieces of rivals commentary as despite Brock Lesnar being removed from the game prior to Punk's inclusion, should you use PC mods to play a match between them and this will trigger the following commentary. CM Punk, Brock Lesnar, the best in the world versus the beast incarnate. No love lost here. Punk and Lesnar just want to beat the ever-living crap out of one another to prove just who the top dog in this company is. There's a big fight field tonight. Everyone here, even everyone watching at home, knows it. Seriously, just listen to this place. The feeling is in the air. These two men are about to go to war. Brock Lesnar has made his thoughts about this matchup pretty clear. When it comes to this business, size matters. Ladies and gentlemen, it's hard to deny that Lesnar has the obvious size advantage over CM Punk. Yeah, but they don't get more stubborn than CM Punk, Michael. And Punk has never listened to anyone who tells him he can't do something, including Lesnar. So Lesnar might be a beast, but there's a reason Punk calls himself the best. CM Punk did it. He survived the Beast Incarnate. Punk did more than survive the Beast, Saxton. Punk slayed him. For now, there's simply no way that Lesnar settles for this result in the long run. The Beast Incarnate once again conquering the competition. The size and power differential proved to be too much of a factor for CM Punk. I have a feeling this isn't the end of things though, Michael. There's no way Punk doesn't believe there's some unfinished business here. 
Did you know there's special draft reactions for the superstars included in the ECW Punk Pack? Following on from previous episodes where we highlighted some of the special draft reactions in my GM, the Midnight Messiah 4 notes some new reactions for the stars contained in the ECW Punk Pack. It should use Paul Heyman to draft these stars back to ECW, and you can hear the following reactions. ECW chooses Terry Funk. Terry Funk ready to get extreme again in ECW. A smash mouth pick to start it off. I like it. ECW selects Bubba Ray Dunn. Bubba Ray back in ECW, and no, I didn't stutter. I couldn't have made a better pick than this guy. ECW drafts Devon Dunn. Devon's going to get a lot of tables now that he's back in ECW. This guy will fight tooth and nail for this brand. ECW selects the Sandman. Get the kendo sticks ready. Sandman is back in ECW. Smart move by Heyman, taking a big name. ECW chooses CM Punk. CM Punk once again ready to lead the land of extreme. A great pick. He's got one goal in mind on this show. Did you know that the Dudley Boys feature special commentary at WrestleMania? This one follows on from previous episodes where we showcase some of the unique mania commentary for Terry Funk and CM Punk as Marcus Hamilton notes that the Dudley Boys also feature WrestleMania commentary. It's been a long road from Dudleyville to the showcase of the Immortals. Yeah, the Dudleys have been synonymous with classic TLC matches at WrestleMania and they are ready to unleash more hardware tonight. Well, I have never heard so many people chanting for tables, and the Dudleys look set to deliver on that promise. Did you know that the My Faction version of The Rock features updated commentary? This one comes via This Gen Gaming, who reveals the inclusion of some new entrance commentary for the 2024 version of The Rock that was added to the game as a Persona card in My Faction. It should use this version of The Rock in Exhibition, and he comes with some updated commentary that refer to him as a member of the Bloodline. The Rock has arrived and the attitude is back. And Michael, his massive ego is back too. Oh, Saxton, I think it's about time for you to acknowledge the great one. A new attitude, no longer the good-natured legend. I, for one, love it, and the fans should too. As if the bloodline needed any more attitude. We have not seen this side of the rock in years, but trust me when I say it has always been there. Well, I wish that side had stayed gone. Some might say this is the real Rock. The Rock who ruled the Attitude Era. Back and better than ever with the Bloodline in tow. Well, like it or not, the Rock is ready to once again lay the smack down. So there you go, that was more things you might not know in WWE 2K24. If you have any suggestions for things to cover in future episodes, let me know about it in the comments. But until next time, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself an awesome day, and I'll catch you later.